Hello, I want to give another update on Leslie. Last time we saw him, I was using a Lightorama control board to control a set of servos, which turned potentiometers, which then interfaced with an Arduino. I have since learned to have the Lightorama board talked to Arduino board, and I can get rid of my potentiometer tray, which makes me pretty happy. <clears throat> also since then he has a set of glasses and that is because his eye mechanism doesn't really allow for internal LEDs the way I light my other characters eyes so the whole point of these glasses is to have LEDs mounted oh, they're fairly well hidden down here in the bottom of the frame and so they shine up onto his eyes and they're RGB, so they'll be able to change. I just don't have them hooked to a controller yet. And for ease of connectivity, I have this magnetic connector so I can take the glasses off and work on them. Or if I take his head apart, I don't have these fine wires um, running everywhere that could potentially break. What I have also done is mounted his neck mechanism. It's just some standard servos and brackets. But his left and right rotation uh, is kind of a custom job. It's This servo is mounted inside of a half inch PVC. And then I have this thrust bearing supporting the weight of this bracket. So when he turns his head left and right, all the servo has to worry about is turning. It's not supporting the weight that thrust bearing is. Now I'm doing some motion tests using a program called Track Skull. And the way that works is there's an infrared camera that tracks these three markers and those get clipped onto a hat. So let me do a little bit of demonstration. So right now it is not connected. Let me make sure I'm calibrated here. And so now he should be able to follow my head. Oh, here. Let me uh, disconnect his eyes. I'm kind of washing the camera out. And I have a joystick for his eyes. So he can look up, down, kind of look around, give me some side eye. He can blink. Ah. Oh yeah, and his mouth is open and closing. So he's all ready to go. Isn't that right? Oh, that's nod. <laughs> I'm nodding with the joystick. So um, all that's left is to transplant him on his body. Um, that's right. Oops. <laughs> it's hard to have a conversation with them. Don't give me attitude. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm amusing myself, but uh, I'm still getting used to um, everything here. The... Um, Eyes are being controlled by a joystick, and his head movements are all being controlled by a camera. So I need to learn how to synchronize every everything. So uh, some of the some of the uh, oh here let me turn that off. <clears throat> some of the motions that are really human is. Um, when you're looking at some, I don't know where my camera is. <laughs> uh, as you move your head up and down, your eyes tend to stay looking forward. Um, so when I do hand programming, I'll move the eyes up as I'm moving the head down. So give the forward sinister look or to look down his nose at everybody. Um, and also when people turn their head, they tend to lead with their eyes and then they turn their head to center their eyes. So it would be, look where you're going to turn your head, and then as you turn your head, you 
center your eyes. So I'm going to need to practice the joystick as my eyes. Um, and what's really nice about the software is you can record a skit and then export it. And there's many different formats. The one I was concerned with is Lightorama. Um, I'll go ahead and show what his body's going to be. One moment, please. Now, his body is not fully finished. But he is going to be a headless horse toddler. Uh, I got this bouncy horse from a co-worker and it gave me the idea to build a headless a headless horseman but as a toddler and so his uh, head is going to go up there on the neck and we are going to leave this with the ability to spring back and forth and so yeah I just got I got this children's George Washington costume which I think is going to make an amazing headless horseman costume and his body is just let's see if I could I apologize for the lighting but uh, his body is just some white P, uh, half inch PVC um, sorry that's that's a terrible reveal uh, I'll, once he's all together I'll do a more in-depth video um, with some behind the scenes pictures. Um, but yes, this is going to be Leslie. Thanks for watching.